Okay, hello everybody, and I'm Fort, by the way, if you didn't know, <laughs> and today we will learn, I will show you how to make skin smoothly like that. As you can see, the skin is look like in real life, very smoothly and texture is very good and it looks very nice and uh, put many animations in one place and just move the skin if you need I will move it here and all animations will be in this place as you need as you can see and uh, for this you need 3ds max and skin and texture and animations I will put for you link for all FP files I found in GTA 3 EMG and cutscene EMG but uh, cutscene files uh, take uh, too much place they take some you can extract it by, by yourself you can go to <coughs> GTA San Andreas folder anim and just uh, extract from cuts you find here uh, from cuts uh, just uh, click to for type and you will see all IFP just select everything not everything cause oh my god yeah 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 but the speed is too much <laughs> for me oh my god fuck never mind you must select everything right something like this and this and just extract it uh, where you need and uh, from GTA 3 EMG 2 from here and just click on type and you will see somewhere between the FF and TXD you will see IFP files uh, here as you can see but these animations you can find in anim anim mg all animations is here okay let's start uh, so let's go to 3ds max and delete everything i think yeah let's delete it with skin let's close and i create some plane and just put it under the skin when you import it as you can see here between this plane and this plane some space so I will import skin now let's go to IFPIO and import the FF let's take some Muri and I will I will just take some modifiers and put in it I will take vertex weld to make it smoothly but I will set to zero zero but with changes as you can see when I turn it off you can see the skin ugly when I turn it on it's more smoothly and after that I will take smooth modifier and put out a smooth prevent and after that I will take mesh smooth and now you can see skin very smoothly and look like in real life but it's not really <laughs> so uh, you put a texture on it and just smooth materials and now you can see everything is okay except one thing when the skin goes to animation so it's not good it's not looks uh, every time good but uh, there is way to fix it but I never fix that because I don't need and 
let's start from the animations and uh, select every bones everything with bones and load IFP let's take baseball baseball bat this animation contains all the hits you make with baseball bat like uh, this one let's apply it as you can see here he wrote to you oh my god what's the fuck okay here you can see what he wrote to you and here you see the animation and he moving as you can see from middle of the world he's moving He's not stand at one place and cause of that when you make a frame with 3D Reaper 3DX Reaper uh, in your game uh, match the stand to the skin cause you need to if you make the skin bigger the animation will be this size this size he moved to so if the skin bigger he moved two or three centimeters and you 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 can see that if I make it bigger so he moving like he stand in one place and just move the to here and uh, you must to change every frame you must not not here uh, you must go to animation not materials must go to animation and in and change every frame must change the replacement and it's not good it's really not good not scale let's exit from the animation so before you before you make a render uh, be sure you match the stand to the skin make the stand bigger as the skin size okay and let's start to to do other things uh, okay we take one animation but I want in my scene not one animation what the fuck this one hit I want two animations so I will add new frame just one frame I will set it to 37 and move here and then I will add new animation but skip position keys be sure you skip position keys because if you not put here V you will look you will apply the animation but he will move to the middle of the world then you must move every key you must move by yourself so this is not good and we will delete all keys and skip position keys let's move to 37 and apply animation and now as you can see he stand on this place but uh, look he moving here but in one place if you will move the skin let's move he actually moving here yeah like that and let's exit from the animation and then if you need more animations just add frame here press here time configuration add new frame press ok go to this frame and add another animation just click twice but skip position keys every time because you need you need if you if you have skin move if you uh, take animation and your skin is moving from the middle of the world not standing in one in one place and make uh, animation with his hands or uh, stand and uh, so you must take take your animation and skip position keys 
Okay, let's. Uh, after that, only after that, after you have all the animations, just. Uh, I don't want uh, him. I don't want him uh, stand on one place, so I put him here. Don't go to animation. Don't turn on your animation. And I just go here and. Look! Animation is complete. On this place, there is no movements. But if I will add another animation, the skin will turn back to the middle of the world. So this is good for uh, animators or uh, who make a sense or uh, anyone else. And good luck, Fort was here. Oh no, 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 no! I was, I'm still here. <laughs> I will put for you anims mod. If you don't want to 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 look every IFP file, look what anim animation it's contained. So uh, put this Cleo mod uh, in your GTA folder. But first of all, uh, install Cleo mod for, for GTA San Andreas. Uh, you will see here folder Cleo. Just put this mod in folder Cleo and go to the game. Press. Control, uh, I think Shift Alt, Shift or Shift Control, no Shift Alt One, and you will see their animations. Here you can find all the animations you need. After you look on your uh, animations in game, you can open this Cleo script with Sunny Builder and uh, type in uh, search Control F here in search. You can type a uh, number of animation you need, like uh, 659, I don't know, and uh, click OK, and then F3, uh, F3. Look when, uh, when you see, look, here you can see the animation number. This one is animation number, this one too, and this one too. So, if you click a free, a free, a free here, here I find this animation and uh, what in what file this animation you can find OTB, OTB where I can find this file? Let's see, this folder must contains this file OTB OTB here in this animation I can find. In this file, I can find this animation six five nine. So, in game, you f you type six six five nine, and you will see animation this file called state constraints. And when you go to 3ds Max, just let's reset all the animations and load FP. Let's take this OTB file and you can find it in this file animation you need like this one is stand on one place and just clap his clap on his hands but don't forget to select everything bones and everything look at his hand stand on one place and just Okay, but I skip position. Ah, okay, he stand on one place. He's not moving, so it's okay. That's all what I want to show you. I will put link for IFP files and anim mod in the description. Or uh, if you don't have Sunny Builder, I will put this file. This file contains all animations too. So there is something like uh, look 1000 animations 1686 animations this file contains so i will put link for you and you can download it and don't forget to turn it on in game with shift alt 1 good luck ford loves you and <laughs> see you later